in recent times, there's been a debate over on my Discord, and people have asked questions, first of all, how you can have different rate profiles on a Switch, and then it followed on to different rate profiles, and ones for newbies and intermediates, and crazy people like me. So, for the first thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to go into our PID tuning, and we're going to go into our rate profile. Now, we just need to make sure in here, rate profile number one selected, which we do. We don't want to change the PID tuning profile, just the rate profile. You can name it. So we're going to name this one newbie. And these are the rates that I would suggest for a newbie. So first of all, we're going to select the rate type as actual rates. We're going to select our center sensitivity as 10 on all of these because it just gives you that little bit more control as you're coming into land and just makes things a little bit safer. Standard or the stock setting is 670 as your max rate. What that is, is how fast your drone will flip when your stick is all the way to the end. So it will flip at 670 degrees per second, basically. Now, we're also going to... Yes, boy, one to six, seven. Six, seven. <laughs> we're also going to add in Expo. I don't know why this was set to this. Um, my advice... So, my advice for a newbie is going to be this. Set your center sensitivity to 10. Set your max rate to 670, which is the beta flight default. And add Expo 0.35. And that is what I would suggest as a newbie rate. Now hit save and up here where it says rate profile, change to two. And we're gonna change the name to intermediate. Oh, well, we'll just leave it as inter because we can't fit intermediate. So again, my advice is center sensitivity set to 10, your max rate set to a thousand, and then your expo set to 0 0.20 and then hit save. Go to rate profile number three, and I'd probably say expert, but I'm not calling myself an expert, so please, please don't. Again, make sure it's set to actual rates. And even with the crazy one, we're going to have our center sensitivity set to 10. Our max rate, this is a modular 7, is it a modular 7? It's the, the 04 version of the modular. So we're going to set it to 1400. I generally have my yaw set a bit lower just so it looks a bit better and then here depends how much of an expert you are and how confident that you are but here is where i would leave it generally at zero but if you want to add just something in there just to to help just ease back on that craziness when you're coming into land or you're taking off or you're doing and then hit save. So you've got three profiles. And I suppose what you could do is go for rate profile number four. And we'll change that to... Uh... <laughs> Again, we're going to set our center sensitivity to 10. We're going to set our max rate to... I'll border it. 2,000. <laughs> which is the max available rate. You've got 20,000 for a second round. And we're going to leave it with no expo. This... <laughs> Profile is not for the faint of heart and not for the inexperienced. Yeah. So please, um, hang on, mate. So please do use with extreme caution and probably not with something like a five inch, unless you are a really good flyer. But if you're a really good flyer, you're probably not going to need a video like this to show you how to set up your rates. There is also a warning from actual rates saying, warning, very high rates can result in desyncs from rapid deceleration. So do bear that in mind as well. If you're going to set it this high, you need to make sure that your quad is, is well designed. And that's part of the reason why on the reviews I do, if it's a smaller quad like a tiny whoop, I won't go to 1800. I'll stay at around about 1400. I'm right, but I wonder, I need you to pass me a controller. So now we've set up and saved our four rate profiles here. We have had to switch drones, by the way, but don't, don't worry about that. We've, we've set them all back up in here, look, and they are as they were, I think, roughly ish. Um, what we need to do now is we're going to, believe it or not, we're going to go to our OSD because in your OSD there is a profile for PID and rate. In fact, rate profile name is going to be the easiest one to use. Let me change this to HD. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my phone so you can see it on the camera. In fact, I'll screen record it. It'll be easier. But yeah, we'll change we'll change our rate we'll change it to our rate profile name, and then that way we know which rate profile we're using when we add it to a switch. Makes life so much easier. Okay, so now we're going to go into the adjustments tab. We're going to press this button to enable it. Now it's going to ask you which switch you want, but we're not going to worry about that just yet because we're going to look in here first of all. So halfway down here, you've got rate profile selection. Then you've got this, which is going to change where you are. If you add four of these in and you want them all to be rate profile selection. And it'll make a little bit of sense in a second. Okay, you're going to want to just make these bars like this and then essentially what you're going to want to do is move them to where the positions are going to be. What we need to do now is hit save and work out which one of the switches that we actually want to do this functionality with. So let me just turn on the camera and show you how we would work that out. Let me just move these goggles off the desk. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to pick the switch, pardon me, that we want. And if I throw this switch, this is AUX3. And this is what we're going to use. Now, you may think to yourselves, but there's four rate profiles. Why am I using a switch with only three? And my advice is if you're going to use the uh mode, have it on a separate switch so you don't accidentally enable it because it is a bit crazy. So, uh, if I, sorry, if I go back into receiver, I'm looking for AUX3 now. So if we go back into our adjustment, we now know that this wants to be AUX3. And what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the third one. So on here, we're going to change this to AUX3. And then change this to AUX3. And just hit save. And as we throw this switch now, we just need to make sure that all these bars are lined up. So rate profile one is there, rate profile two is there, and rate profile three is there. Could be a little bit difficult to remember. So we've added the OSD element onto here. So let's just turn on the goggles. I'll plug in my phone and I'll show you exactly what it looks like on there. Okay, so I need to update my goggles as well. It's telling me if I click go fly, you can now see our rate profile is set to newbie. And if I throw this switch that we've just agreed on, it then changes to inter for intermediate. Throw it again and it changes to expert. Oh, that could be really good. So I would always recommend that you have if you're going to have different rate profiles that you have them on the osd as well because there's nothing worse than going out flying and thinking oh, i'm gonna have a nice chill and you take off and you realize holy crap i'm in extreme mode is how first of all you can change your rate profiles on a switch but also it gives you an idea of roughly some rate profiles that you might want to use depending on what part of your FPV journey that you are currently on. There is no exact science to it. I've seen newbies fly rates of 2000 and I've seen guys that have been flying for 10 years still flying beta flight default. So change it up, try different rates yourself, see which ones work for you. And that's the other flip side of it as well. Um, you know, you can change, you can have different rates on a switch because you can be thinking, well, today I want to try this. And then you can try it and you might think, absolutely not for me. And you can just flick a switch and go back to your normal rates. But a change is as always as good as a rest. So this is really something I do advocate doing, changing your rates and trying different things. And now you can do it on a switch. It can be as easy as, well, I'm going out today and I've got two different rate profiles to try. So I don't have to just do the same thing over and over again. If you've got any questions whatsoever about this, please do drop them in the comments down below. And if you've got any requests for any future tutorial videos, either drop your request in the comments down below or I'll meet you over in Discord. The link's in the description. Peace out, everybody, and have a great rest of your day. YouTube and I have had a chat, and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most, so watch it and let me know if they're right.